in this video i'm going to actually continue the financial part 2 of the present value which are some of the financial functions that i'm going to already discuss in the part 1 this is the financial functions that are going to be used in the as you can see that here are some of the functions i have used okay let's see this is the actually a uh, loan that is at the rate of 9.75 percent of the rate of interest actually you are actually you are charged the annual rate of interest at 9.75 percent on your personal line of credit with your bank compounded daily what it means is that the compoundation will be daily means the interest would be calculated daily what is the effective annual rate interest rate okay so this is what actually your present value would be for at 0 0.95 for 365 days for 365 days you have to use it and it is zero here and then 25,000 is the amount that you are actually looking for the present value 365 days means it is one year but because the compounded interest is charged every day so it has been 0 0.9 0 0.095 per is equal to 9.15 percent okay maybe we can change it to the 75075 but the leave it like that this is what exactly is divided by 365 and you will get it actually by this thing take into consideration take it as, as 0 0.95 and you will get by 365 365 days this is the amount you always should always mention it in the negative less being zero and this is how you will come the uh, present value of twenty five thousand dollars would be twenty two thousand dollars seven hundred and thirty four point sixty this is what you would be getting around with uh, nine point five percent not by nine point seven five nine point five so what is the effective rate of the interest now I wanted to find out what is the rate of the effective rate of interest that is coming so this is the effective rate of interest that is coming as you can see the effective rate of interest is not actually 9.5 that was calculated the effective rate of interest because it's calculated daily because it's compounded daily so it is coming to 10.24 that's it so simple when you actually copy this thing here and you apply the percentage it will tell you the percentage and you have to move to the two decimals and you'll get it here now we already spoken about I've already spoken about the future value and other things so I will like right now concentrate on something else that's, that's the effective rate of the inter interest rate okay when it, the, when it is being calculated on a daily basis now this is PMT okay it, it returns calculates the payment of the loan based on the constant payment and a constant rate of interest so when I am using a PMT I am going to use PMT that is the rate of interest 0 0.05 5 is the 5 year for what I am actually calculating it minus, minus $20,000 and it is 0 so this is what actually it will give me this rate ok so this is what it will actually come up with now if I wanted to if I had this 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 PMT and I wanted to find out the rate of the interest so I could have done it with the same thing I could have used the rate 5 years the period the 5 years and I could have said the PMT value here in the rate and minus 25,000 what was the amount and this would give me the 5 that is what actually has come will give me the 5% actually that was charged for this thing ok this is what actually the PMT would actually the rate would do rate would take the this parameter 5 is the 5 year that is the year this is the PMT value as you can see they calculated the payment of the loan based upon the constant payment and a constant interest rate and this is what you will get for the that was actually for every year you are getting it so you are going to actually put it this year and then you are the for 20,000 that was the amount and then you will get the rate of interest out of it this is some formula that you can use to twist it from to find out one from the other 
then this is n per returns the number of the period for the investment based upon the periodic constant loan because n per uses a 0.05 percent rate of interest this is the pmt value used here and minus 20,000 and minus 5 in in this case we have used the year and we have got the percentage in this thing we have used the percentage and we have got the number of years that's the only difference otherwise it remains the same and this is the effect effect is another function which comes with the analysis pack of the excel that is actually you can add it and this is what you can use the effect function the effect is actually will give you what we did it for so 0.975 rate of interest actually what you charged we actually for the 365 days it was if it was compounded what would be the really rate of interest so the effective rate of interest would be 10.24 because it was compounded daily that's it that's what the financial functions are about thank you very much for watching